the Snickers, her my leather nigga. She know what I did with the tweets. My ex girlfriend can't stand me. Got some new man hit her with the Jolly Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vanessa here. And I'm here to bring you guys this really pretty blue eyeshadow look. So lately, I have been really into blue eyeshadow jeans, blue chokers, blue nail polish, everything blue. And I decided to bring you this look. I was scrolling through my Instagram and you know Ellery, the most beautiful woman of color on YouTube besides Jackiana, she just posted this really intensified cobalt blue smoky eye and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I have to try it. So if you haven't seen this photo right here, then um, go ahead and follow Ellery because she is popping. So I decided to recreate this look. So if you're interested in seeing this look, then go ahead and just keep watching. Peace. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Pure Beige. And I like to use this to go ahead and prime my lids. I'm then going to go into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and I'm going to pick up Golden Ochre just to set my entire lid. I'm then taking some tape just to go ahead and outline my eye. And I'm going to place this in my transition area. Alright, for most of this look, I'm going to use my Morphe 35K palette. I'm going to pick up this brown shade here at the top. I'm using my MAC 224 to apply this color. I'm going to go back into that palette. I'm going to pick up this bone shade for my brow bone. In that same palette, I'm going to go in with a deeper brown. And I'm going to place this in the outer crease. I'm just using my 224 to blend that out. I then want it to be a little bit more intense. So I'm going to take some black from that same palette and place this only on my outer corners. Now I'm going to add a pop of color on my lid. What I'm going to do is take my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to place this all over my lid. Then I saw this really pretty cobalt blue, so I'm going to place that all over the lid. I'm just packing this on, not swiping, simply packing it on. Sometimes you have to work with drugstore color to get it to really pop. Alright, for lashes, I'm going to use the iLore London Times Nicole Guerrero Lashes. The trick to putting on lashes securely and to not get glue all over the place is to make sure that they are dry and tacky. Not too, too dry, but tacky enough to put on. All right, to prime my entire face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base to prime my face. For foundation, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro coverage foundation and this is in the shade warm honey i'm only going to use a little i found that only a little bit of foundation is needed especially because i don't really have really bad skin and sometimes i can go a little ham on foundation something new i'm going to be using is a different sponge and this one is by l'oreal they have they just released a series of sponges for the skin some for contouring highlighting this one is just for the overall face and I really really have been liking it lately all right let's move on to concealer I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cream contour and to bring my face a little bit back to life I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer in the shade Espresso I'm going to just use this on the perimeter of my face. Before my concealer creases, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder to go ahead and set. I'm going to just press this into the skin. I pretty much use this to set my entire face, but I do concentrate it in certain areas. I'm going to go back into that brown shade from earlier that I used in my transition and use this on my lower lash line. Now for the fun part, I'm going to add some blue on my lower lash line as well. And I'm going to dust it away with some MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. 
I'm going to take this sponge one more time just to make sure everything is blended. You can get this sponge in the link in my description, so don't forget to check that out. Because these are very inexpensive, but they work so beautifully. I'm going to take my Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara to go ahead and coat my lower and upper lashes. And to then take my MAC Blunt Blush. I'm going to use my Tarte Party Blush. Of course, I'm going to use some charged water. I'm going to use my Just Like Honey Lip Gloss by MAC and place that right on top. Thank you. 